Okay, welcome to SAT 3310. This is scripting for administration and automation. I'd like to continue our discussion with SQL, and now we're going to talk about SQL and Python. Uh, Python has a very nice SQL module. Uh, what we're going to be talking about uh, for the purpose of this class is the SQL Lite 3. SQL Lite 3 is just, it's a really easy to use database engine. Uh, it's totally self-contained. You don't need to set up an SQL server, so you don't need a separate system. Um, you don't even need to configure SQL server. It's just um, zero configuration. Uh, it's so lightweight. It's really fast. And the other thing is the entire SQL database is in a single file, which makes management very, very easy. So because of that, a lot of applications use SQL Lite 3 for their internal storage. The um, module for Python is just called SQL Lite 3. So you'll need to make sure that that's installed. And then in your scripting, you'll need to make sure that you import your SQLite 3. Uh, here's a list of some really good references uh, for SQLite 3 and Python. Um, I highly recommend that you take a minute, uh, load up the PowerPoint, copy and paste these links, and, and at least review these websites. Uh, what you're going to be need to, to, to do to initiate your connection with the SQL Lite 3 database is just use the the Python command sqlite3.connect. So if you want to make a new connection, uh, you just say your connection in this example equals sqlite3 module dot connect function and then the name of the local file. It's that simple. Uh, you could also use a um, memory operator, and this will open up a database connection that will use just active RAM instead of um, drive I.O. That will really speed things up. The Now that you've got your SQLite 3 Connect is your connection with your local file, now we can do things like use the execute operator on our connection. So in this example, you see we're just going to say connection execute, and then you can just give it your SQL command that you want to do. Um, it's a non-standard method, but it's a shortcut, and it makes a lot of sense. So I would recommend using it. Um, and then it's just, it's just going to uh, set up that cursor now. So if your cursor is your um, SQL statement being executed, you can now say your cursor is uh, your connection cursor, and you could say, again, cursor execute, and then your SQL. Then you could work with the individual items. So in this example, we're saying cursor execute, give it our SQL statement, and now we can do our for item in list. So in this example, I'm saying for item in cursor, print item two, which of course would be the third element um, of the results of our SQL command. Uh, also remember to just always make sure that you close uh, your SQL when you're done. Um, again, it, this is, uh, just another example. So my connection equals my SQLite 3 connect. I gave it a couple variables there. Um, and then I'm saying a connection execute again, my, my SQL statement closing the connection. Um, here we're just doing a, an example SQL statement. We're saying uh, from a, a database uh, file, which we've defined in our connection, uh, from the table wireless, we're selecting uh, the manufacturer field, the best altitude field, and we're taking an average of that. And then we're counting each individual item. So that would be the results, right? Uh, manufacturer, average, best altitude, and a count. That would be item zero, item one, item two. 
Uh, you could say then, for example, put those items into an array and then um, sort the array and count the array. Uh, th I think that would be a, a great method. I think it's a really great method. That's letting uh, Python do the work. In this example, you could add uh, your, I should say you could you could modify your SQL statement by adding this this idea of letting SQL do the work and saying, well, okay, still select the the manufacturer, the best altitude and account, but now with those results, go ahead and just group by manufacturer and then sort it or order by the average best altitude. So you're, it's still gonna print out manufacturer, average best altitude and account, but it's gonna be, all the manufacturers are gonna be grouped together and it's gonna be um, ordered by uh, the altitude best to worst. And then that's gonna be your results and you can just do your item in list again and just print out those SQL results, which would be the manufacturer, the average altitude, and the total number of um, wireless devices for that manufacturer. Uh, so you could use this method or this method. Uh, it's just a matter of, um, do you want SQL to do the work or do you want Python to do the work? Uh, it really depends. Like, and again, too, with this method, with Python doing the work, you have access to every single individual element array, or, 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 or I should say element in the array, or each individual element that SQL outputs and putting it into an array. Uh, this one is just giving you the summary results out of SQL, uh, so you wouldn't have access to those individual items.